Jesus said to his disciples, Stop judging, that you may not be judged. For as you judge, so will you be judged. And the measure with which you measure will be measured out to you. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me remove that splinter from your eye, while the wooden beam is in your eye? You hypocrite, remove your wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter from your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. In today's Gospel, the Lord teaches us that we need to be careful when you judge others because you are not a judge. Just God knows the heart of that person. Just God knows the, their intentions. You can judge sins, bad actions. Yes, we can. We can say, this is not good. This action is bad. But the judgment about the person is just for God. That is the principal point in today's gospel. It's too easy to point out to others. But when it's yourself, you are being merciful with you. You have many excuses. My circumstance, my difficulties. But when you talk about others, your judge is severe judge, judgment. That's what the Lord said today. We need to do a good examine of conscience. How is my behavior in this situation? How is my response before these circumstances? And after that, you have good arguments for analyze or judge the same situation in others. We need to remove the wooden beam first in order to help others. In order to say to others, you have splinter in your eye. Be careful with the judgment about others. That is the point. That is the point in this gospel. And I repeat, we need to point out sins and respect sinner. We need to denounce sins but be merciful with sinners. If we want to receive mercy, we need to be merciful with other ones. But mercy is love others, accept the person, no bad actions or sins. Because today, even inside the church, many people said mercy is accept everything. That is not true. Mercy is accept the person, but not the sins. In the church, we say welcome to everyone, but not welcome to the sins. Let us ask to the Lord that help us to be merciful with his mercy, real mercy, not with false mercy. Be merciful to others in order to receive his mercy in our own life. Let us pray in silence.